72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. Let's look at that cloud now, and this line is never on vacation. Sound up that mind. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having a good morning. I know I am. I've been spent most of my morning number crunching uh, just for this video. So, little disclaimer, there's some math. I know, I know, math is scary to a lot of people, but I've made it very simple. It's very laid out. So today, um, I tested out the charge trait and why it's so relevant on Magic and DK just to see for myself whether it is best in slot or whether there's a different trait that would be more preferable. Uh, the reason I even bring this up is I got uh, I got called out on a, a comment on someone else's video, Ness uh, ESO. He called me out on running charged on a mag DK, uh, how it's dog shit. So I was like, well, before I really say anything, I w should probably take a look um, at the facts and see for myself because there's really not a lot of data going around about how these traits work and how different skills are affected. I found out some very interesting shit that I had no clue okay so laid the groundwork very simple i tried three dots on the magic of dk because it's the easiest to do um i tried with charged and without charged that's it i just changed the staffs that's it and what i did from there i just compared how many times the burning product with and without i have spreadsheet so it's kind of give you an idea what i've been doing for the past hour i would do engulfing flames I would sit here, look at the debuff, count how many ticks in total each skill would proc. For example, engulfing does 10 ticks, and of those ticks, how many of them actually proc'd burning? I did the same thing for burning embers, I also did it for talons. Now the results are very, very fucking surprising. So I'm going to walk you guys through, yes I know it's intimidating, I, I know, but it's actually very, very fucking simple, trust me. So. On engulfing flames. Now, this is, uh, I only did 10 trials of each. I should have probably done more trials. I actually did do a lot more trials with Burning Talons just to make sure I was getting accurate results. So, I did this 10 times for each skill with and without charge. And here are my findings. So, engulfing flames takes a total of 8 times. I misspoke earlier. I said 10. It takes a total of 8 times. Now, of that 8 times, Here's how many times they would proc during the, the eight time period. You see one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, one. You know, it's like I'm speaking binary, all right? This is without charged. So on average of my 10 trials, I got a burning proc chance about five fucking percent. Five, that's it, five percent without. Now you're like, wow, you know, charge is definitely gonna help that. Well, take a look at charge for engulfing flames specifically. Please pay attention, it's specifically to engulfing flames. Each skill actually has a different interaction. It's very weird. So, with charge, with engulfing flames, you only went up by 1.25%. That's it. I, like I said, I did 10 trials. That's a fair enough sample size, I would say. You could do 20, 50. I don't have all day, fellas. Let's be real. This is a rough estimate. So, charge with engulfing flames, yeah, dude, it fucking sucks. You're... You're right, Ness ESO. You're you're 100 right. I'm I'm dog shit, but I took it further. Okay, so I went on to Burning Embers. It's a single target ability. Now this also has eight ticks, but I did not count the first uh, damage tick that it did because it all 100 yeah, applies a burning effect, so you can't really count that. So I just completely ignored that status effect, and here are my results. So without charged, you have about 7.5 percent chance. To proc burning okay i mean that's reasonable it's about engulfing flames you know give or take but here's where uh, the big dick comes in with charge it jumps up to 18.75 percent which is two and a half times the amount that you're going to get i went back and double checked this so that the ratio is actually a little bit higher when i did this trial again it was actually like 300 oh, percent but but yeah so with charge with burning embers, you're getting a 2.5 ratio, meaning it procs two and a half times more often as compared to without. So I was like, wow, okay, well, in this respect, Horcrux, you're 100% right in SESO, you're an idiot, right? So I went to the last skill that really matters, you know, to, to proc burning. Of course, wings could proc it, but, you know, that's too hard to, to do. I have to have people sit and attack me all day. I wasn't about to do that. So I went to burning talons. 
Burning talents, guys. I thought this shit was bugged. Of the 20 trials I did without charge, it procced 1.25% of the time. I'm guessing there's some sort of correlation between AoE abilities. Now, I didn't know they nerfed Grothgar. But ESO, I'm pretty sure they took the easy fucking way out. And instead of nerfing Grothgar into the ground, the burning, they nerfed DK's AoE like any AoE ability in the DK's kit to prog burn, or any AoE flame ability period in the games are prog burning, they nerfed into the fucking ground. I'm pretty sure that's what they did, and that's kind of bullshit if you ask me. Um, anyway, I digress. Burning talent procs 1.25% of the time. Granted, you could hit like 10 people, you know, it's... I kind of understand it, but 1.25% still seems really, really fucking low. So, I put on charge, saw a dramatic increase. You see the ratio here. Four times as many procs when you're running charged. So, yes, Josh, or Horcrux, whatever the fuck your name is, you was right. In SESO, you don't know what you're talking about. You need to stop listening to, uh, to Meta Slaves and people don't know what they're talking about. Sit and do the math yourself. Now, I got a little bit more to go over. So, what does all that mean? Why is this even relevant? So, Sharpened. Or Nurn Home by itself. So, Sharpened, he argues that you want to run Sharpened. That's about 5.5% increase overall damage. Okay. Cool. Okay, so let's think about that for a second. 5.5%. Is that going to make or break you? Okay. Well, let's compare that to Charge. So, with Charge, you're doing 5.5% less damage. So why run it so the combustion passive you guys know magic dk combustion passive every time you proc burning you get 500 magic there's no cap on this now all this is one target mind you one fucking target my dog's like scraping her box over i don't know what the fuck's going on maru stop so if you have three of these dots up on one single target okay one keep in mind one emphasis on one okay you take the chances this is going to apply, so you take your ratios of all the skills. The ratio is just charge with and without, how much more it's going to increase. So right here on the screen, you take, take the ratios of each. So as a net gain, you know, kind of on average, you want to multiply these together. So you want to take the ratio times what the combustion passive would give you, compared charge without charge trait. So with a charge trait, on average, here's the mana you're going to get back from these abilities on one single target. This only goes up the more targets you apply this to. And having charge greatly increases your odds of doing that, as you can see by the spreadsheet here. So on one single target, long story short, you have all three of your dots and they all go the entire duration. You get 3,875 magic back. One target. That's casting a spell for free essentially almost two it's like a spell and a half for absolutely fucking free over the duration and this only goes up depending on how many people you have so which would you guys rather have would you rather have five percent extra damage not healing mind you if you run sharpen uh, if you run nurn hone you get about three and a half uh, four percent more damage plus you know it helps you with your healing or whatever so Ask yourself, this 3,000, almost, we'll just say 4,000 for now, on one target, is 4,000 magical worth running charge. And would you take the sacrifice of the 5%? No, we'll just say 5% damage. Keep in mind, it's on one target. If you're one VXing, when are you ever hitting just one target? This is only going to go up from there. So this is like one and a half free spells. Let's say on average, we'll just say on average, you're hitting three people at a time we're just gonna ballpark it and say we're gonna get about 5,000 magic a bag so with that being said would you rather every third ability cast essentially okay it's kind of hard to really put this into understandable terms I suppose would you rather have 5,000 magic back over the duration of these dots or would you rather do 5% more damage and that's kind of what it boils down to. So anyone who tells you 
that charge is a dog shit trait. It's not. I don't know why people are getting that. Not only does it help with your combustion passive, but you can toss on the Befouled Disease Glyph, reducing their healing by like another 8%, and then with your CP tree, that's like another 2-3% on top of that. So really, really think about where you're getting your information and sources from. If they don't have a spreadsheet like this and they haven't tested it themselves, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So... Hopefully you guys found this educational or informative. Long story short, it's preference charge is going to help you immensely with your sustain. Immensely. So instead of rocking all recub glyphs or all cost reduction, you can spare a couple of those. Just just treat, I guess, kind of a rule of thumb. Charge is as if you're having two magic increase chance on your jewelry or two cost reduction. Yeah, I guess would be a, a pretty good way of looking at that. Or even more, actually, if, if you do the math. So, it's kind of looking at it that way. Do you want to take the 5% less damage? Doesn't even help with healing? Four charge? It's entirely up to you. If you want a glass cannon build, you know, obviously don't go with charge. You go with sharpen. But overall, charge is better on a DK. There's no way around it. Uh, you could argue infused. You know that's only single target. When you're one VX and you're DK, when the hell are you ever hitting just one target? I never. I never. So, hope you guys you found that really helpful. This has been Horcrux. Like, comment, please down comments. Let me know what you guys think. If I could have done the test differently, please let me know. I'll go back and revisit this if I have to. Uh, anything else you guys want tested? Like comparing. Uh, compare I don't know mage mundus to the uh, apprentice mundus stacking maximum magic compared to stacking maximum spell damage which one stacks better you know maybe I could do something like that so um, thank you guys for tuning in to the channel you have a great day and happy holidays deuces